Tuesday and welcome today to our daily prayers. A little thing that brings me joy we're thinking about this week. And actually, it's the view of the clouds in the sky. Um, I often have a look at them when I'm taking the dog for a walk. Um, my favourite must be the big cumulus clouds, the sort of heaped, the cotton wool clouds, one thing heaped on another. But every single day as I look out, the clouds are just slightly different. And I often think God's painting a different picture for me every single day. It's a little way of discovering God's presence. Let's come to the Lord now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And so we're back to the parable of the rich fool. We're going to Luke 12, uh, verse 16. And Jesus told them this parable, the ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I'll tear down my barns and build bigger ones. And there I'll store my surplus grain. And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink and be merry. And we talked about the abundance yesterday and here, the man's whole focus is on himself. He has miles more than he needs for the next couple of years. But he's thinking, I just, I'll have everything for the rest of my life. I just don't need to bother. I will take life easy. And it's all self-focused. And he's called a fool. And we'll see a bit more of that in a moment. But something to reflect on. It's so easy to focus on ourselves and just to build stuff up for ourselves. And it's a dangerous path, as we'll see, as the um, parable continues. But maybe just reflect, where are those areas where I'm solely focused on getting things for me? And if we're honest, not being so aware of others. A time to reflect now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And so may you know God's presence with you today, whatever you end up doing. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore.